The presence of women in leadership highlights an environment that has no room for gender discrimination. Such a dynamic is associated with excellent work performance, which, ultimately, would result in productivity and profitability. For decades, women held second-class positions in the workplace and executive positions, including directors, junior officers, and general managers, were reserved for their male colleagues. But now, women are coming up. In today's video, we will be showing you the top 10 most powerful women in business. Without further ado, let begin. Ruth Porat Ruth Porat's excellent work principles and a keen eye for strategy helped develop a financial discipline in the business world. The 63-year-old has come a long way from her battle with breast cancer in 2001. At present, Porat is one of the most influential women in Google and its parent company, Alphabet Inc. Straight out of Stanford University with an economics degree, Poor at first worked at Morgan Stanley Mergers and Acquisitions, where she stayed for decades and went on to gain the moniker, the most powerful woman of Wall Street. In the 90s, she gave financial advice to big companies like Amazon and eBay. She was also an advisor to the U.S. Treasury during the financial crisis. The same distinction is given to her now that she leads the tech world. Under her watch, Google's non-advertising earnings increased. The firm also carried out better data protection, chopped off unfeasible projects, and expanded its mobile search and programming advertising acquisitions. Emma Walmsley Emma Walmsley was born in 1969 to Vice Admiral Sir Robert Walmsley and Lady Christina Walmsley in Barrowin Furness, Cumbria. She earned Classics and Modern Languages Master Degree from Oxford University. Today, she is known as the first and the only female CEOs of one of the major pharmaceutical firms in the world, GlaxoSmithKline. She took over the position from Sir Andrew Whitty in April 2017. Before this, Emma Walmsley was the marketing head of the French cosmetics company L'Oreal and ran its Chinese consumer products for 17 years. She joined GlaxoSmithKline in 2010. Raja Issa Al Gurg Raja Issa Al Gurg is the vice chairperson and managing director of the Isasail Al Gurg Group, ESAC, a United Arab Emirates conglomerate that invests in real estate, building and construction, retail, lifestyle, and manufacturing industries. Al Gurg was born in 1955 to an Emirati father and Kuwaiti mother and grew up in Burdubai when it was still a place of a small settlement and low rising buildings. An English literature major, she was the first among her siblings to attend a university. She worked as a headmistress in a secondary school before taking over for her father in running their business. Virginia Romany Virginia Romany is one of the most influential female leaders in tech, IBM. Under her leadership, created Pathways in Technology, P-Tech, education model to help students excel in their tech-related careers, a top boss, and an influential business figure in America. Romany was born in Chicago, Illinois, in 1957 to an Italian-American family. She earned her electrical engineering and computer science degrees from Northwestern University and honorary doctoral degrees from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and North Carolina State University. In 1979, Romany joined General Motors Institute and later became part of IBM as a systems analyst and systems engineer. She held several technical positions before becoming CEO in 2012. Romany was instrumental in changing the workplace policy of refusing non-bachelor degree holder applicants. She also helped the company focus on AI, cloud computing, cognitive computing systems, blockchain, cybersecurity, and quantum technologies. Mary Barra Mary Barra joined General Motors at the tender age of 18. She started her career at GM checking fender panels and inspecting hoods. It was in 2008 when Barra began to climb the ladder and became the vice president of the company's global manufacturing engineering division. In 2014, she became the first female chief executive of a significant motor vehicle company. Barra was born in Michigan in 1961 to parents of Finnish descent. She is an electrical engineer who earned her degree from the General Motors Institute and became a Master of Business Administration through a GM Fellowship. Abigail Johnson 
Abigail Abbey Johnson is best known for her role as president and CEO of Fidelity Investments in 2014. She is among the few female financial leaders who have triumphantly made the trillion-dollar mutual funds company. That it is today Johnson began her career in the company's customer relations department right after high school. Now 59, she transitioned to become an analyst and portfolio manager after earning her MBA from Harvard Business School. The bear market and the emergence of the company's toughest competitor had Johnson defying the norms, working harder, and aiming higher. She encouraged aggressive trading in the open market and changed the company policy that included a series of acquisitions and mergers. She also launched new products to encourage more investments. Under her leadership, Fidelity Investments welcomed cryptocurrency to their fold. Marilyn Hewson Trustworthiness, compassion, decisiveness, and innovation are the four traits one must possess to be a great leader, according to Marilyn Hewson is the first female president and CEOs of the global security and aerospace manufacturing company, Lockheed Martin Corporation. Originally from Junction City, Kansas, Houston credits her parents Warren Adams and Mary Adams for her leadership skills. A business administration major and a master of economics from the University of Alabama, she also attended Harvard Business School and Columbia Business School's executive development programs. Hewson joined Lockheed Martin Corporation in 1983 and worked her way up to become the CEO. Gail Boudreau Gail Boudreau is the president and CEO of Anthem Inc., the largest for-profit health insurance provider in the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association. Under her leadership, the company acquired Beacon Health Options that resulted in the company's expanded and diversified health services. She now focuses on the modernization of the healthcare industry through the Anthems app, which lets users access their data and see their claims history. She also accelerated the company's pharmacy benefits, which allow for more savings for customers. An outstanding women's basketball athlete, Boudreaux graduated cum laude at Dartmouth College. She also earned her MBA from Columbia Business School. Judith McKenna Judith McKenna is the woman running the international division of Walmart, Inc. in 2018. She was the president and CEO of the mega retail corporation of more than 700,000 employees and over 6,000 retail stores worldwide. It was also in 2018 that she led the $16 billion acquisition of Indian e-commerce company Flipkart. Walmart's international dealings raked in $116 billion in revenue. McKenna graduated with a law degree from Hull University in England. With her Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales accounting qualification, she spent years working with different companies before earning the highest rank in business. Safra Katz One of the most powerful businesswomen in Silicon Valley, Safra Katz is the chief executive officer of Oracle Corporation, the software giant she has served and helped grow for 20 years. Since joining the global computer technology corporation Oracle in 1999, Katz has held various executive positions. She is credited for leading the $10.3 billion acquisition of rival company PeopleSoft Inc. in 2005. Katz was born in Holon, Israel in 1961 to Jewish parents. Her family moved to Massachusetts when she was six. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.